Very well. Next up is Miss Thailand. Now the translator is Miss Tiparat Lee. I would translate, but that wouldn't be partial. So, and here it is, and it's coming from Vaughn Hernandez of the Philippines. Vaughn Hernandez. Vaughn Hernandez has been recently named Hero of the Environment by the Time Magazine, and he's also a recipient of the 2003 Goldman Environmental Prize. And here is his question. As an environmental activist, Vaughn Hernandez has been adamant in fighting against waste burning, which resulted into the world's first nationwide ban on waste incineration. For any environmentalist here in the Philippines or any part of the world, recognition of one's dedication and hard work is very gratifying. If you become Miss Earth, how much dedication and hard work are you willing to give to protect the environment? And what preparations have you done for such a demanding responsibility? For those who are watching the world in the Philippines or anywhere else, the world is the most important thing to see the importance of it. If you are Miss Earth, you will be able to give ความอุทิศเวลาของตัวเองมากน้อยแค่ไหนและจะเตรียมตัวยังไงบ้างกุดอีฟติ้งมากันตังกาบีถ้าตูนได้เป็นมิสเอิร์ธนะคะก็ตูนคิดว่าออพอเป็นมิสเอิร์ธแล้วถือว่ามีโอกาสมากที่จะประชาสัมพันธ์ Miss Thailand said if she has the opportunity to become Miss Earth, um, she already has made preparations by... Um, she's going to use the fact that if she wins the title, she'll use that um, title to PR how people should look after the environment because it's very important. <laughs> ทุกวันนี้ก็ยังเรียนอยู่นะคะก็คิดว่าคงมีเวลาไม่มากเท่าไหร่แต่คือว่าตูนก็จะสละเวลาให้มากที่สุดแล้วก็จะประชาสัมพันธ์ให้ทุกๆคนเนี่ยช่วยกันดูแลรักษาโลกตูนคิดว่าถ้าเกิดทุกวันนี้ยังไม่สายเกินไปที่ทุกคนจะช่วยกันดูแลโลกของเราอะค่ะโอเควัตชูจัสต์เซดไรท์เดอร์วอสดัตอิสเนเวอร์ทูเลทแต่สไวอีชและเอเวอรี่อินดิวิดิวลชูดเทคเดอะไทม to be environmentally conscious. Right now, she's a student. So she said, as a student, she's even environmentally conscious. So there's no excuse. Thank you very much, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have two mics with me right now. OK. This is fine, because I'm going to give this to Miss Spain. Let's hear it for Miss Spain. And I need Mr. Ramon. He's coming back up. And I already have the microphone ready for you. Here you go. We have Nellie Grace Chua from the United Kingdom. Nellie Grace Chua was only 11 years old when she defeated thousands of adult musicians and became the overall winner of the 2004 UK Song Writing Contest in England. She was also presented with the Presidential Achievement Award by the Philippine Embassy following her tremendous victory at the British Academy of Composers and Songwriters Competition. And here is her question. Natalie is one of the 16 members of the Angelis, a British classical singing group managed by Simon Cowell and a platinum awardee in the UK. Hello, I'm Natalie Chua and I'm asking a question from London in the United Kingdom. The colour green is a very significant colour here in the United Kingdom. If you become a political and environmental leader in your country, what incentives can you offer to the public to help them make green or environmental friendly choices. This question comes from the UK. The red color is a very significant color for us. If you were a leader in the public for your country, what incentives would you give to the public to make green decisions and to favor the environment? Hello, good night. Good evening to everybody.
A mí la verdad también me encanta el color verde, porque para mí verde significa esperanza. La esperanza de que el mundo esté bien cuidado para nuestro futuro. Porque... Truly she likes the color green, because green is the color of hope. Hope for humankind. Esperanza para que nuestros hijos puedan vivir en un lugar mejor, un lugar sin tanta contaminación, para que crezcan, para que puedan tener más hijos y nietos y el mundo sea perfecto. Hope for the children, hope that they can have a brighter future and that they, they can in turn have more children and grandchildren. Debemos dar a la gente incentivos de futuro para que piensen más allá, más allá de lo que ven, para que piensen con el corazón, para que sientan, sientan la tierra, los animales. We should give them incentives for the future so they can think of what's, what's uh, up ahead. Ellos crecerán por dentro. They will grow inside. Muchas gracias. Thank you. And muchas gracias to the both of you. Let's have a round of applause for all eight finalists here.